पोस्ट मॉडर्न एज और पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म इज लाइक वी ऑल नो पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म इज नथिंग बट एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ मॉडर्निज्म वी कुड से but then post modern literature is something that is different a bit different from the other um, uh, literary theory because uh, post modernism started in the late 1950s and it's said to be going on even right now but i mean people also say that we live in a post post modern world talking about uh, post modernism uh, we know a lot about post modernism already there is like, a sense of disillusionment dehumanization because of the second world war and the onslaught of capitalism now this is again predominantly present even right now during troubling times such as these we actually look at how capitalism is a rotting element in our society so post modernism in art as far as art is concerned is a mix of both high and low art and also it blurs the distinctions between uh, genres wherein we'll also be looking at various terms parody and pastiche and the most important definition of postmodernism comes from loitard who says that postmodernism is nothing but incredulity towards meta narratives wherein he focused on fragmented anecdotal luminal and also the marginal now imagine there is a meta narrative called democracy now pick up democracy as a meta narrative meta narratives are nothing but things you look at from the larger picture pick up democracy as an instance of meta narrative now incredulity towards meta narrative is when you try and uh, demolish the whole structure of democracy or the whole idea of democracy then that is called as postmodernism yeah and also you could say that it is postmodernism is nothing but it's fixing the protean now talking about protean protean or proteus is basically a mythical character who is known for changing uh, shapes shifting from one shape to another now proteus is basically a character who shifts uh, shapes uh ihab hasan he calls postmodernism to be like proteus which always constantly keeps changing uh, shapes you don't know because it's always in a state of flux you don't know what the actual meaning is yes and also talking about uh, postmodernism you have an important term intertextuality being introduced by julia kristeva intertextuality is the presence of a reference to another text in a particular text if you have read john green's um the fault in our stars you will actually look at the references of an imperial affliction now although imperial affliction is not a work that is uh, written by somebody you will actually find references to this work but more recently i actually read another work it's the thousand splendid suns and you have references to the old man and the sea in that particular work as well so that is what is called as called as intertextuality when you're using passages or examples or referring to other texts in between one particular piece of work yes and the next important term is parody and the other important term is pastiche parody means imitating a manner now you could talk about how uh, art was parodied various forms of art were parodied for example you had parody of uh, the rhyme of the ancient mariner you have a number of parodies of uh, ts eliot's wasteland as well a uh, wasteland a limerick so you have a number of them uh, which are parodies wherein you imitate the manner manner in which a particular person has already written and then you try to make a uh, fun of that particular um, work passage is when you are again combining multiple elements in one particular uh, work for example the french lieutenant's woman is actually an example of a postmodern text now as far as this particular text is concerned you actually find a uh, a letter a diary entry in between the novel so you actually mix a number of these multiple terms so the same is the case with uh, ian martel's beatrice and virgil again you find a mix of drama and a novel and letters prose writings all together in one particular uh, piece of work yes so you have a number of such post modern writers for example italo calvino umberto eco uh, salman rushdi john fowles who is the author of uh, the french lieutenant's woman john barth and so on and so forth yes now talking about uh, post modernism 
postmodernism is basically as i told you incredulity towards meta narratives where incredulity is nothing but disbelief towards meta narratives meta narratives are grand narratives for example it could include a meta ideology like democracy or it could also include stories a culture tells as if it is uh, their own uh, practices now another important uh, concept as far as postmodernism is concerned is the concept of simulation and simula crap as far as uh, the concept of simulation and simula crap by jean baudrillard are concerned he talks about reality how people understand reality what is reality and so on and so forth when we look at simulation simula crap and hyper reality simula crap is a copy of something that's real but it generally does not exist in reality for example you have the mickey mouse the mickey mouse is actually a copy of something that is the real say a rat or a mouse that is being copied by disney in order to create this particular character called mickey mouse Uh, in terms of our culture or in, our, in terms of our tv shows if we have to talk about uh, these cartoons we basically have dora and buji now buji is actually somebody who indicates uh, the person i mean a monkey is never going to talk but then it's actually a copy from something real it's basically a monkey that is being copied and that will never exist in reality so that is what is called as a simulacra simulacra simula you know all these words come from the word similar now they basically similar but then they don't exist in reality so that is what is called as simula crap the next is simulation the simulation is replacement of something uh, that's original now m- the more you talk about uh, this monkey yeah that the, the the whole process of how you you actually convert a monkey into that character buji is what you call as simulation replacement of something original the process is called as simulation and the next uh, concept which baudrillard talks about is hyper reality where it is much more than reality now for example you have the example of ax deodorants now you have uh, the advertisement where a guy he actually sprays perfume all over his body he goes out he goes out of the house and then there are girls who actually come behind this fellow to in fact uh, look at the fellow to uh, to seduce him and so on and so forth now also this advertisement was more obscene when we were young because this man would be made of chocolate and all these uh, girls would come and eat this uh, man yeah so there again it is hyper reality because never in your life you're going to use this perfume and there are girls who will be coming around you because if that's the case then almost all people would have had uh, their share right now yes so yeah that's hyper reality where it it is beyond something that's real something that you will never accept as being something real or something that's even possible in uh, reality 